Hello there and welcome back once more to Momentium. My name is Chioma. If this is your first time, you're very welcome. Today I'm going to be making this meaty couscous recipe. Yeah, it's called meaty couscous because I'm using ground beef for it. And it's a good way to incorporate meat into your child's meat, especially if you have a younger child that does not like to eat meat. You can give them this couscous which is also very, very simple, which is very easy for them to eat. You can always make it for their lunch box. You can make it for their meals and put every other thing there to make it a nutritious meal for children. Couscous is a, is a grain that is made with uh, semolina. It's like pasta, but it is not pasta. This is made with semolina instead of with wheat so it is good it is very very simple to make it doesn't even require you to put it on heat couscous does not require any cooking that's why it's very simple it's something that you can quickly make in the morning especially if you're in a rush to get some food for the children especially if they're going to school with it so if you like to see how i made this please sit back and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Mommy Siom, help Mommy Siom to grow as we get on with this. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using for this. I'm going to put the ingredients down as it flows. You can see the ingredients that I'm going to use. They are simple ingredients as always. I like making it simple. So I'm going to start by putting my oil in my pot and then I'm going to add my minced onions. Remember, it's always good to mince the onions for the kids if you can or chop it as small as possible so that they don't see it unless you have a child that likes onions. But I know growing up, I never liked onions. So onion in the food can put me off and my kids are put off by it too. I'm adding my meat or minced meat. Then I'm adding all my seasonings in. Once I add them in, I'm going to just turn my meat together and then allow the meat to brown in the pot. Like I said, this is a simple recipe and a very easy and quick to make recipe. The next thing is to add my stock. If you don't have stock, you can use ordinary water. I'm adding pepper like this because my children don't like pepper so this is going to give it flavor cover and allow it to cook and boil well this will make the minced meat to be done too it doesn't take time to do it doesn't take time to be done <laughs> so the next thing I'm doing now is to add in my frozen vegetables I'm adding it now because they are frozen and uh, I want it to thaw in the water and also allow the water to also boil again. As you remember, I said couscous does not require to be cooked. If you have vegetables that are not frozen, you can add it towards the end after you've put the couscous or as you are putting the couscous. That way it can cook with the couscous because it doesn't take time to cook. Take the pepper out. You don't want it to blow or burst into into the food and then you are going to eat it alone <laughs> and then check for taste too i'm now adding my couscous so stir everything all together and as you are doing that you can put off the heat or you can take the pot out from the heat i'm also adding some more water this is boiling water which i'm using I'm adding it because I, if this is not enough to get the couscous to be done. So I'm adding the boiling water so that I will ensure, this is to ensure that it is well soaked and soft for the kids. If you have younger kids or toddlers, you can make it softer by adding more water or you can leave it like this, which is very suitable for older kids and even for adults to eat because yes, adults can also eat couscous. I covered it with a foil because as you can see the top of my pot has got a hole which makes the air or vapor escape and I don't want that. If your pot doesn't have that little hole you don't need to put a foil. So 
Uh, couscous is ready. Like I said, it's a simple recipe. And if you liked this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like this video, and thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.